They say that every story has a beginning and an end. But that isn't always the case. Some stories simply... stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day. He keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. Wonkers, my old Wattilla. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, sort of was. People dreaming, trapped inside their own night terrors. Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go back, wake up. Don't leave. She's all alone. I know that feeling. You're not alone. There are people out there you can connect with. But you need to stop using the dream machine first. It's not helping you. Trapped, burned alive. That's a terrifying nightmare. Why won't you help me? There's no fire and you're not dying. It's only a nightmare. You've been using the dreamer too much. It's messing with your head. Ugh, oh, I used to have this dream all the time. Naked, exposed. It's worse than it sounds. This isn't real. No one can see you. You'll wake up soon and everything will be fine. But you should stop using the dream machine or the nightmares will continue. This dream is different. It's more persistent. And the dreamer... It's a child. Oh, great. 
I'll need to go in and untangle it. Stop. Don't come any closer. Leave me be. There are too many of you. I can't say... I can't help everyone. Just go away. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there. Through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Don't worry. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. to be tentacles. It couldn't be, I don't know, a dream about a wardrobe filled with bananas. Pain. Anger. Sad. Oh, that light's... No, of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a light bulb. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. It's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Oh, she must be terrified. She... she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Too dark. Can't see anything under there. Bingo. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty... Torch. Oh, that light light. Yeah, good idea, but not from that. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness, not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, and never again. Whoever wired without me, she'll be trapped. I can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are... Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. I can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. Bananas. That's the best you could come up with, Zoe. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacled thingy. It's too quick for me. Right. Why bother with lampshades when it... Oh, it's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Hey, yeah. 
it's working. Cool. Tentacles, be gone. Hello, boring old ward. I wonder if there's a lion and a witch on the other side. I can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. No, don't get too close. It will take you. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. The Vagabond. Master of the st- What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then- Hello, Zoe. Look, I'm trying to help them all and, and... There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. There's no home to go back to and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. For, for better or worse, this is my home now. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. There's nothing there for me. There's, there's no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same out. I'm not ready to wake up. To face I can't do it. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. I don't understand why I'm needed. I did everything I could already. This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Oh, isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? This is where I belong. What difference can I make? There is a great power within you. The power to set things right in your world and all others. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it, you must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close, and... Even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love and everyone else, Past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Why me? Because you are the dreamer. You must find your way back to your sleeping body. You must wake up and remember 
And then you must save the world. Because that worked so well the first time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key. Unlock the door, remember everything, save the world, write my story, return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Good luck. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down. If I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you'd call it, the signal from my comatose brain, it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it will work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers, thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. I'm in a coma. I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down is stop, and stop is... no, bad. I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. It's a mess. This is probably a t don't know if it- I don't- Reza visits a lot. Talks to me for hours. It's good. It's good. Like, that's not doing anything at all. Except maybe giving me hot flashes. I don't know why they brought him to the hospital, but I'm glad they did. Storytime feels more real to me now than the waking world does. So, if I slow these readings down, the system should compensate by adjusting the drug dosage, jolting my system. Hopefully waking me up. Possibly killing me. Well, fingers properly crossed. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. 
Okay, so magic machine is working overtime, pumping a scary amount of drugs into my system. So, okay, the cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now, oh, it's too fast, too jarring, like, like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. I'm thinking this could turn out to be a very bad thing. Where do you think you're going? You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. Is that who I really am? Is she what I've been running away? She's right. Can't be. I have nothing to return. I'm not letting her stand in my way. I've made up my mind. I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. So it's not perfect. I know how to appreciate what's there now. It's not all gone. There's a chance to take back what was lost. To do it again and do it. We don't have a home to go back to. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's not. We, we can't know what's waiting for us on the other side, but so what? So it's not perfect. I'm not asking for a perfect home. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. And, and who is that? I'm ready for a change. I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I don't know why I lost faith, but it's time to find my way back. I'm ready for a change. I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. Zoe Castillo, and I'm alive.